Hi, my name is Saif. I'm a first year medical student with the University of Sunderland. Before I begin, please can I confirm your full name and date of birth? And I'm going to call you Bob. Hi, Bob. Were you made aware you speak to a medical student today? And is that something that's still okay? Excellent. So I've been asked by the GP to perform something called a low water neuron examination. Is this something you've had performed before? It isn't. Would you like me to briefly describe the test before we begin? That's fine. So in this test, I'll be testing for the sensation of your lower limbs, which is just your legs from your hips downwards, using a cotton bud just here, and then with that fine neuro tip. I'll also be testing for the power, so asking you to move your legs in various directions, and I'll be resisting that. And also, I'll be checking for some reflexes. There'll be no pain expected, but if you do feel uncomfortable at any stage, feel free to let me know. Am I okay to begin? That's fine. So if you can just take off your shoes and your socks and just roll your trousers up for me. I'm not going to do that though. So again, I'll be doing this on, directly onto skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this cotton bud onto your forehead just so you know what to expect. Can you feel that? So now I'm going to tap this on your legs. Let me know if you can feel it and just say yes when you do. You can just close your eyes for me. Yes. 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 Yep. Yep. I was that saving both sides. Yeah, it was. Now I'm going to repeat that with a fine neuro tip. For the next part of the test, I'm going to test for the power of your lower limbs. So firstly, I'm just going to ask if you can try to lift your right leg up and then your left leg. And now I'm going to put my hands beneath your leg and if you can push downwards, I'm going to try to pull up and then on the opposite side as well. Now if you can pull your legs inwards and I'm going to try to push them apart. And then now I'm going to try to pull them closer together and you can just push them further apart. Excellent. For the next part, I'm going to ask if you can lift this leg up and if you can kick your shin upwards and then kick your heel towards your bum. And then if you can repeat that with the opposite leg, so kicking your shin upwards, then your heel inwards. Now what I'm going to do is ask if you can press your toes downwards against my hands and then on the opposite side. And now if you can pull your toes upwards against my hand, then on the opposite side. And next I'm going to ask if you can do the same thing with your big toe, just pushing it down and I'm going to pull it up and then on the opposite side. And next I'm going to ask if you can pull your, put your feet further together and I'm going to push them apart. And then if you can push them further apart and I'm going to push them together. Excellent. So that completes the power part of the test. Now I'm going to test for your reflexes. So that completes the power part of the test and now I'm going to test for your reflexes. Now if you can flop your leg inwards and just relax your foot. Now I'm just going to get this reflex. And then on the opposite side. Excellent. Now what I'm going to do is, using the, five, the blunt end of the neuro tip, I'm just going to rub it around the inside of your foot. It won't be painful, but it might feel a bit ticklish. Yep, and the opposite side. Brilliant. Thank you very much, that completes the examination. On examining Bob, no abnormalities were seen in his dermatomes, myotomes, and in his plantar reflex, there was no Sabinsky sign.